Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilkin and Art to Life. And I wanna to talk today about uh, cohesion in your art. I mean, th the mindset you have when you're making your art, your orientation when you're making your work. I love the, this subject because for me, there's different ways I think or I approach things and it changes the outcome. Sometimes, it, you know, and the paint's the same, the brush is the same, the studio is the same, and all I'm changing is my thinking. And I love this, and I especially love teaching about this because this is like the freebie. You can show somebody, give them a, like a, another viewpoint, and the work can just really shift. So what, what I'm talking about is, is a high up view, and I call it like a 30,000 foot view, but it's a, it's a view of what you're doing um, above the weeds, like high up, the forest view having this bigger, higher view uh, when you're working, you know, and, and, and how that changes it, how that changes the work and makes your decision making that much better and makes the outcome, the art, the final art even better. Uh, I just went mushroom picking and it was an amazing uh, experience. And one of the, it was kind of this rainy day and there was this really great biologist, uh, you know, mycologist, I guess, who, she was so passionate about mushrooms and, you know, and, and it was like, you know, she's basically like setting us off on our journey to just go find mushrooms. And, and what you do in this class anyways, you just set off into the redwoods and the, the, the underbrush and walk through the forest and you pick mushrooms, you find mushrooms and then you might try to identify them and come back. And, and she said, but I wanted to talk to you before you go. And I was, you know, so, you know, we'll meet in five minutes. I, I want to talk to you about this process. And I was like, well, how, you know, come on, we all have our basket. How hard is this going to be? I picked mushrooms. But what she did was she taught, she said, listen, I need you to have, and as she described it, um, owl eyes. And I was like, what? You know? And she said, you want to walk through the forest with owl eyes and fox feet. And she did this thing was like, you don't want to just walk through the forest and, and be looking for mushrooms, looking and walking through the forest. You want to walk through the forest like a fox that's taking a step, experiencing that step and being aware and looking around. And the owl eyes is to be aware of all your surroundings because that's the way you find these mushrooms because if you're more aware because they're everywhere there's like one over there and one over here and she talked a lot about this widening the peripheral vision and it occurred to me she's talking about awareness and, and which is it's such a cool component of of, of being that well like of making art or mushroom picking or whatever it allows you your sensitivity increases so actually physically walking in a different way, kind of like with your weight back and not making a big impact on the forest floor and just moving through and feeling it. She feels you'll be much more successful if you can, if you can be this way. And that's not dissimilar to what I'm talking about. When you're, when you, you're working on your work and you can view it, all of it, when you can see all aspects of it, kind of at one, you're not, you're not zeroing in. You're not like falling in love with that pot bottom corner. See, what happens is, you know, when you zero in, when you go in and it's like you get really attached to a part of it, it and you focus on it and you're really like this part and you don't like that and you're not no longer above it, you, you're in the weeds. And then that the, the, the work starts to feel like that. It starts to feel kind of more like you in a way, like it's too much about you. You're not just a kind of above it. And this is, this is a hard thing to do because we all get attached to what we're doing. But remembering this modality of, of just, it's like owl eyes. I love that because you're, you're not reacting to things. You're just experiencing things and noticing things. And then your decision making can be, it's much more flowing. And so, uh, that was, that was just a, a, a really good, uh, way, I think, to, to think about that. So, um, the, uh, this has shown up for me when I was learning to draw. I had a drawing teacher that, uh, you know, when you're drawing, life drawing, you're trying to get that correct. You're trying to draw that leg on the page. And you're so focused on this figure that you, you always draw it like right in the middle of the page. And it, you're really terrified and you're trying to get it perfect and look at that. And, what I learned and what was so helpful for me is, you know, and I'm 
probably a lot of you have done this, those contour drawings where you, you look at the model and you stop looking at your page and you just, you just feel it with your arm, with your hand, you feel the surface and looking at it and, and forget about getting it in the right place. And it's extraordinary because the drawings that are made like that, they're so emotional. They have so, they feel like what you're looking at because you're looking at it and you're not obsessed about what you're, you're judging yourself or that it's correct or not. You're just literally feeling that figure that's up there and the way the fabric hits the arm and way the, the sharpness of the fingernail, all those things come across. And that's what makes powerful art. And uh, so anyway, that's just thinking about that with, with your work. The, being high up above it so you can notice the connections between things so you can see the mushrooms in the different places and you're 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 contained in the whole environment you're you're in relationship to it and that stops your art from being making like good parts of your art that compartmentalization that we see when it's like oh i could just crop this part of the painting it would be so good that's because when you're only looking at a part of the painting you get it really good but you're not thinking about the whole thing so it's this global idea, this global view rising up above it, which is a perfect segue because I want to, so anyway, that's, that's the idea, something to try, something to just shift things for you possibly. This is, this is a really helpful for me. Um, so we, we talked last week about the North Star and, and, and you know, we have a winner, the North Star winner. It was awesome. All those comments, all those stories, it's incredible. I spent so long, and it was my birthday, so thank you. Uh, some of you said that. Happy birthday. I appreciate that. But it was, it was just a really nice morning, and I was just reading all the stories of what everyone was saying. Um, but the winner, drum roll, is uh, Patricia Caulfield, and I just want to read to you uh, what she wrote. And it, it kind of feels like it's part of this uh, message that I'm sharing with you today in terms of perspective. Um, very often I stand outside late at night, barefoot in all weather, with my dog to study and identify the constellations. I think about the galaxies beyond that we can't see and imagine flipping it and being able to look down from those galaxies to where I'm standing. The feeling I yearn to evoke in my art is one of expansiveness of being, of stretching out beyond boundaries and space. So um, there was a lot of great ones, um, really incredible. Um, Jamie Madison, you, should, you gotta go read her pie, her pie analogy. She gives a, a pie recipe for making art. But uh, Patricia, this is wonderful, it's really beautiful. And so if you email me at info at art to life, um, we will be sending you the Toltec Wisdom Collection Four Agreements book. And um, yeah, it's just awesome, super great. That was just a wonderful, uh, I love that that North, you know, I, I even like the North Star comment winner. I love, I love the idea of a North Star. It's so cool. Um, I'm just going to end today. Uh, well, uh, let me just make an announcement that we are the Art to Life free workshop uh, is starting April 26th. So if you're not on the email for list for that, um, please sign up. It's going to be amazing. We're redoing it this year and there's a lot of cool stuff going, you know, I'm just, we're just totally focused on this. It's going to be really great. But let me just end. And so there's a link down below. You can get that. But um, I thought I'd end with a really great quote by Don Miguel Ruiz, uh, the author of, of these, um, these books. Um, Every human is an artist. And this, is, and this is the main art we have, the creation of our story, which I think is pretty great. Thanks so much. Okay. Talk to you soon. Enjoy your Sunday.